Orange County Registered Digital. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to OCVarsity.com for OC Varsity Gridiron Extra Show. We're at Calvary Chapel High School where the Eagles are getting ready to play another big Orange Coast League game, this one against Costa Mesa. Carlos, you and I were at their previous game, which was against Laguna, Laguna Beach High School over at Estancia High. Uh, it was a really low scoring game, 62 to 56, the highest scoring game in Orange County history. The, the previous high scoring game, the record was set in 1921. Even I wasn't covering football back then, Carlos. So you say. Yeah, so I say. Man, that game, at one point, we just looked at each other and go, this isn't football, it's a video game. No, I mean, you don't even see that kind of, those kind of stats on Madden or if you played Tecmo Bowl in the 90s. Yeah. I mean, it was just out of control. I mean, Nate Lancaster breaking the Orange County record, single game rushing, 550 something yards, seven touchdowns. It didn't matter. <laughs> you know, Danny Matero throws for 500 yards and five touchdowns and the game winner in overtime. It was just unreal. Yeah, <laughs> overtime. I mean, we couldn't believe it. No. You know, he had like, Matero had like three guys with 100 yards of receiving. It was just, it was just a nuts game. And you think when you look at a game like this, there had been a bunch of turnovers, but there was not. No, no. it was clean, man. It was just offensive going, going nuts. And it, until the very end when Calvary Chapel came up with the two stops it needed. Laguna's final drive in regulation and the first one in overtime. Stop him. That's it. Yeah, I saw Matera. He threw it 55 times, no yeah. interceptions. So on the year, he's only thrown four interceptions, hasn't thrown an interception in four weeks. He's got a ratio of 21 TDs against four interceptions. I mean, some pretty uh, efficient offense. No worries the defense, but, uh, you know, some, some exceptional offense. It, it, some colleges might want to be taking a look at this kid. I mean, yeah. 6 3, 205, he can throw it. I mean, he can run it, too. The kid's oh, pretty at 95 yards. Yeah. I mean, this guy needs to get some looks. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. And, uh, you know, that game wore me out just covering it. And they've got to play Costa Mesa coming up. We asked uh, Coach Cox and a couple of the uh, players at Calvary Chapel about last week's amazing game and then the big challenge they got coming up against Costa Mesa. That game was nuts. Uh, I've never seen, been around, been a part of, watched on TV, anything, a game like that. Uh, it was a, definitely a, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Uh, as a coach, it was real stressful, but uh, we came out on top, and it, it was a, it was one I'll remember for the rest of my life, and I don't think these kids will ever forget it. Uh, it was probably halftime when we were down 35 to 14, where uh, it looked like our team just was going to give up. But at halftime, our coaches gave us a motivational speech, and even some of our captains stepped up and got our team pumped again. And then second half, we just came out, even though we allowed more points and. Uh, but we put up more than them, and that's all that matters in the end. We just kind of leaned into that adversity like through the whole game, so I've never really been a part of a team who can do that and just keep their heads up the whole time. I would say offensively, like we're just we're pretty much firing all cylinders. We like the wide receivers and the quarterbacks we just got a good connection and then defensively we're just we're just trying to hit people, you know, we're trying to make our statement out there, so just trying to prove ourselves. Uh, they do run hard, they're a very good team. Uh, but I think our defenses can stop him. Oh, he's also a really good running back. He's fast also, really physical, and we're just going to have to use our tackling technique this week. Just get back to basics on that. Okay, so that's what the Calvary Chapel Eagles side of last week's game and their big challenge coming against Costa Mesa. Fellas, you know, as I always say, a passing team will beat a, a running team. That's what we got in this game. We got uh, Matero and his wonderful stable of receivers against Aronde Crenshaw and a pretty good defensive unit over there at Costa Mesa. Coach Wally Grant ran the defense for Myra Miller at Tustin for a while. He knows how to get that thing done. Dan, um, I'm going with the passing team. I'm going with Calvary in this one. Who thinks going to win this thing? This is a tough game to call. I think it's going to be yeah. another great game in the Orange Coast League. My pick's going to be Costa Mesa. I think uh, with Aronde Crenshaw, they're going to have to keep the ball on the ground. They're going to really have to eat up some clock and keep that high-powered Calvary Chapel offense off the ground, uh, off the field. So I think uh, I think that's what Costa Mesa can do. I think it's going to be. I think they play a little bit tougher schedule so far than uh, Calvary Chapel, and I think they they get the victory. Agree or disagree? I gotta disagree, man, because I mean I've been I've been hyping Danny Matero for a few weeks yeah. here now, and and the kid lived up to all the hype when we saw him, and I just think uh, they're gonna, you know Costa Mesa was picked to finish number one in that league by the coaches. Calvary picked to finish last. You know, hey, who knows what coaches think? Yeah. <laughs> and I, it's just amazing that we're even here talking about this game. It's a credit to Calvary Chapel how far they come. Exactly. I've done a little research. That, you know, since 2001, they've had one winning season. And, uh, you know, they already got seven victories. And, 
You know, I think these, you know, I got Calvary losing this game, but I, I, I'm, I don't think many Southern Division teams are going to want to see the Eagles in the playoffs with this high-powered offense, a lot to prepare for. That could be a very scary first-round game. So I think we'll see more of the Eagles uh, in the postseason. You know, one other thing, I'm going to set the over-under at 86 points. <laughs> All right, so that's the uh, OC Varsity's line right now, 86 points. Okay, well, that sounds good, guys. Well, uh, we'd like to thank uh, Calvary Chapel and the Eagles for their uh, great hospitality and letting us hang out with them at their practice here. And thank you to Jonathan Camus behind the camera there doing all the expert producing and directing. And thank you for visiting us again here at OCVarsity.com where we've got you covered. Thank you. Orange County Register. We are here in the service of Orange County.